Good afternoon, everyone. Sheila here in Boho Daydreams, and welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful start to their weekend. I absolutely love Friday, and today is no different than every other Friday. Um, it's beautiful outside. The weather is amazing. This week has been filled with some challenges. I've been a little bit under the weather, but I feel like I'm recovering. Um, I, it's probably just uh, a, a lot going on for me, and maybe it just kind of caught up with me. Anyway, um, I have a quiet house right now, and so I'm going to try and do a little video here. Um, first of all, I want to thank every one of you who took the time to watch my granddaughter's tutorial on how she makes wax seals. Um, she, I think she did an amazing job, and you were all so supportive of her. Every time we talk about it, she's, she just gets so excited. And she is looking forward to making her dangles on video also. She doesn't really know what it means to be on the video, but when I tell her um, how, she, how the compliments that she's received and the nice comments she just beams and that just makes my heart smile so i want to thank you for being so supportive in that so um, what i want to show you today is how i make these little um, frames with their seals uh, because they fit so perfectly and it's a little bit of a trial you have to do it more than once and quite possibly here on video, it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to give you an idea of how easy it is. Um, so I'm going to pop that off to the side. Oh yeah, here's two of them that I had also done. And they didn't turn out so well because I was trying to uh, see how much wax I needed to use. And it's always a hit and miss, but the thing with wax seals is you can always remelt them. Although I don't always do that, I like to keep them for other purposes in my um, little sweet peas. Also this week, I did something that I haven't done before, and I thought it would be a fun project for me and my granddaughter, but it wasn't really a lot of fun for both of us. <laughs> we made paper, and it's a challenge and a half, but I think it turned out great. As I was making them more and more, they turned out better and better. So they have to go into my paper smusher to really be flattened out nicely. But I think they turned out beautifully um, for, the, uh, for the tools I had on hand. So these ones here, they range from thicker to very thin. And um, I've learned a lot as I've gone along. And for the ones that are super thick, I can just remelt them down or reconstitute them and do them all over again. But I want to try and emboss them when I get home because I think they will all work beautifully. I love the ripped edges on them already because that's going to be very um, useful. So these ones here are done in the avocado. I did. I had an avocado and I just um, added the avocado dye to the paper and then I'm working on the white right now and this is the very first piece that I made which kind of turned out a little haphazardly and then there's another piece but now that I've gotten just a little bit better at it I am going to um, probably get a better turnout with my white so I'm going to grab my stamping stuff together and then I'm going to be right back okay so Probably Charlotte explained pretty much what you need for uh, supplies, but um, you need, for us, you need this little frame or a frame like it, and you'll need a stamp that fits into this frame already. And when I purchased these um, separately, I didn't realize that they would fit so perfectly. So there's that. And then you'll need your wax pellets, your spoon, your candle, and then I like to use something to melt the, help melt the wax. All right, so I have used five pellets. Oops, oops, oops. This table is so wobbly. It's not like my desk at home. 
So I used five pellets and I popped them into this and I just set it over the flame to melt and it melts pretty quickly but you can fast forward from here if you like. So I'm back. I just decided <laughs> that no need to fast forward. I would just put it on pause and go from there. All right, so it is almost all melted and then I just stir it up a little bit to get it really nice and smooth. I don't want to boil the wax because it bubbles then. So making sure that you're on some sort of silicone piece or parchment, I just pour my wax into my frame like that. And honestly, this is practice because I don't know that this one's even going to turn out. But here goes. So then I pop my stamp into the middle of it. Oh, it looks like it's going to turn out quite nicely. And I'm just going to leave it sit there for a few minutes and then I'm going to pick it up. All right, let's see if it is ready. Feels okay. So I'm just gonna try and loosen it up a little bit. Good. I'm going to remove it from here. You have to be careful because it's not quite dry. And usually it just pops right off. Oh yes, it turned out lovely. Other than the little dot of soot. I have to be more careful. But yes, it did turn out perfectly. So then it will fit into the frame quite nicely after you're done. It's a perfect fit, actually. There we go. There. So I'm going to zoom in a bit. And then I'm just going to color it up. So I like to use the gold. I like the perfect pearls in the green patina. And then I like this one in the rose, the pink rose or the rose gold. I like them both. So first thing I do is I don't need the candle any longer. I can blow that out. I kept it on because I thought I might have to do it again. Ugh. It's been a busy, busy week. So the gold is just a high pigmented kind of a mica powder. And I just Oops, this table is so wobbly that it just wiggles as I'm just not even touching it. Okay, I had to zoom out a little bit. That was just too close. Too close for this. And by coloring it the gold, it just kind of blends right on in with the frame, which I just love. And then I take and I just touch up the inside a little bit with the gold, gives it a little bit of a vintage look to it. I love using these on my little sweet peas. And I know there will be a lot of other places that I can use it also. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of the pink gold and touch it up on the flower and a little bit of the green patina just for that. Oops. Most of the time you can get the excess off. There, just like that. And pop it into the frame. Oops. I don't have any fingernails. Makes it rather challenging. And there it is. Just grab a piece of paper to put it on. I can't find my piece of lace. Isn't that pretty? And that's really as simple as it is. And now it's ready to use wherever you want to use it. And what I do is I glue it with the E6000. And that way it's not going to move at all. 
I hope that this has been helpful. Um, I wanted to do this sooner because several of you had asked and it's just been a bit of a challenge trying to um, fit it all in when I have a bit of quiet time. Anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.